Thanks everyone for joining us today for the yoga class. It is going to be at all levels, so I'll be showing different variations for some of the poses, easier, or if you want to push yourself a little more, I'll show some deeper variations of the poses, okay? Uh, make sure you have some water, and we're going to be moving a lot, and uh, let's just try to have fun, you know, and uh, let's start with the feet on the back of the mat, toes touching, and child's pose. Have your knees a little wider than your mat so you can rest your rib cage on your inner thighs. And reach your hands all the way to the top of the mat. Spread your fingers wide and rest the forehead down to the floor. From here, you just start taking deeper, slower breaths in and out through your nose. And try to send the breath to all four sides of the torso, feeling like the belly, the sides of your rib cage the back ribs all the way to the top of the chest and then send the breath back down like you're creating a wave that starts from your hips to your chest and then it goes back down keep the wave motion with your breath start firming the palms on the floor spread your fingers really wide push the palms to the floor so your shoulder blades engage and then you can lift your rib cage away from the thigh place your rib cage on top of your thigh Walk your hands all the way to the right, to a side bend, place the left hand on top of the right, and uh, try to send the breath all the way to the left side of your waist. Expand really wide. Push with your palms so you get a little heavier with your hips towards the heels. And you're still taking the deeper, the slower breaths that you can. Maybe allow the breath to get a little heavier through the back of your throat, create a soft sound, and then walk your hands back through center. Set to the left side of your rib cage on top of the left thigh, walk your hands all the way to the left, this time right hand on top of the left. Press the palms down to the floor, get heavy with your hips towards the heels, and really extend the right side of the waist to the deepest breath you can take. Expanding a little further, still stretch your arms, no pain of the elbows. And then bring your hands back to the center, still pushing the palms down to the floor, pressing the top, the tips of your fingertips to the floor, and then roll up into tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, and I'll do three times cat and cow. Again, start pushing the floor away from you with your hands, shoulder blades broad, inhale, bring the chest to your arms tailbone up towards the ceiling, and keep spinning the triceps back, cow pose, and as you exhale, tailbone down to the floor, draw the navel lean towards the spine, round your back, bring the chin to your chest, again, inhale slowly, start from the pelvis, arch the lower back, upper back, bring your gaze through, chest through the arms, exhale, tailbone down, navel lean, spread your shoulder blades, chin to your chest. One more time. Inhale slowly, arch your back. And as you exhale, you slowly round. Then bring your spine back to neutral. Walk your hands slightly forward, close to the top of the mat. Tuck your toes under and move into plank pose. So in plank pose, you're trying to create a straight line from your heels all the way to the crown of the head. So firm your heels back. So you're lengthening the back side of your legs, and imagine you're pointing your tailbone towards the heels, hugging the navel in again, like you're trying to bring the belly button closer to your spine, pushing the floor away from you, round the back slightly, and try to keep your gaze maybe a few inches in front of your fingertips, so your neck's not cranking back, and you're not bringing the chin to your chest. Again, squeezing the thighs, keeping your hands and your feet as they are, bring your hips up and back, into downward facing dog. From here, you can pedal your feet a few times, bend your right knee, left leg straight, and then switch, bend your left knee, right leg straight. And at your own pace, you can switch back and forth a few times, pedaling your feet, and you're still keeping the weight even on both of your hands. See if you can bring more weight towards your thumb and your index finger, so the weight moves away from the outer wrists, 
pushing evenly on the base of each finger. And then slowly lengthen, reaching both heels down to the floor. Try to reach the top of your chest towards the front of your thighs. Bring your chin towards your chest. And then inhale, raise the right leg and come back. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Try to keep your chest facing down towards the floor. Exhale, bring your knee across to the left elbow, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, reach back again. Bend your knee, stack your hips, reach the right heel all the way to the left. Exhale, bring your knee across to your left elbow. This time, reach your right leg up and back, reaching with the base of your big toe. And as you exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Squeeze your right quads towards your chest, lift your chest up, and then step your right foot in between your hands. Reach your chest forward, lengthen, inhale both hands up to the ceiling, or press and pose. And it's okay to start with a small bend on the left knee, so you can lift your front of hip bones up, without arching the lower back, and then start reaching the left heel back as much as you can, without tilting the pelvis forward. Keep spinning the triceps forward, biceps towards the ear. And then reach the left hand forward, right hand back. Twist using your oblique muscles. From here, left hand down to the floor, right hand up to the ceiling. Keep peeling the chest up. And still a lot of length through the left leg. Reach your left heel back. Find a twist from the upper back. Get the breath still slow and even. And then exhale slowly, set your right hand down to the floor. Plant your hands and step back into plank. Hold plank for a breath. From here, you can set your knees down to the floor or keep your knees up. Move your shoulders slightly forward, come halfway down. Hold for a breath. Inhale, push up into plank. Exhale, downward facing up. Again, lengthen, reaching the heels down to the floor. Pushing the front of your thighs towards your hamstrings. And then inhale, raise the, right, the left leg and come back. Bend your knee, stack the hips. Exhale, bring your left knee across to your right elbow. Inhale, extend, keep your knee bent. Stack your hips again, reach the left heel all the way to the right. Exhale, bring your knee to your right elbow. This time, reach the, right leg, the left leg up and back. Lengthen the back side of your left leg, bring your knee to your nose, squeeze your thigh towards the chest, and then step the left foot in between your hands. Slowly lengthen, inhale, reach both hands up to the seat. I can try to reach a little more with your back ribs, so you're shortening the front side of the body, lengthening the back side. And without arching the back, firm the right heel further back. If you would do a stretch, on your soul's muscle, the quads. And then reach the right hand forward, left hand back. So twist, set your right hand down to the floor, left hand up, get a little more length through the back side of your right leg. Peel the chest up to the ceiling. Keep the weight on the center of your left heel. Stack your shoulders a little more. Exhale, left hand down to the floor. Step back into plank. Knees up or down, you can set your knees down here if you want to. Maybe keep your knees up, move your shoulders forward. Bend your elbows, keep the elbows touching the sides of your cage. Push up into plank. And then exhale, downward facing up. Again, still reaching the heels down. Taking your chin towards the chest, pushing the floor away from you. As if you're trying to move the weight from your hands to your feet. Keep pushing the hands either way. And then looking between your hands. Raise your heels as high as you can. Bend your knees a lot, and you can either step or jump forward. If I inhale, lengthen, come halfway up. We bring the hands to your shin, lengthen, reach the top of the chest forward. Exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, lengthen, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Now, firm your feet down, squeeze your quads. With an inhale, reach all the way up. 
Maybe look in between your hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sun salutation in. Three times. Inhale, reach. And keeping your straight back, hinging from the hips, exhale, forward, forward. You can bend your knees as much as you need so you can bring your fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands. You can either step or jump back, holding to plank. Bring your shoulders forward, and as low as you can, lower all the way down to the floor. Once you're down, point your toes back. Squeeze your quads so your kneecaps come off the floor. Bring your hands back next to your body. Press your palms down to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest as high as you can, keeping your neck aligned with the rest of your spine. Exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, raise up. Exhale, lower down. This time, bring your hands next to your cage. Elbows above the wrists. Push up into upper facing dog. Stack your shoulders over the wrists. Reach really far back with your toes. Squeeze your quads. And as you exhale, roll over your toes. Hips up and back into downward facing dog. Three slow breaths. Again, still trying to keep the wave motion, the breath from the belly to the chest, from the chest to the belly. And then looking between your hands, raise your heels, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Palms touch. Look up, exhale. Hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. And then plant your hands, step or jump back, halfway down. Tops of the feet on the floor. Cobra or upper facing dog. Squeeze the thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths again. Firm your heels towards the floor. The heels they may or may not touch. You just keep reaching them down as keeping them really active. And then looking in between your hands, raise your heels. Bend your knees a lot, step or jump forward. With an inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. And then plant your hands, you can step or hop back. Move halfway down, tops and feet on the floor, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three slow breaths here in down dog. Stay there or move around. And then reach the right leg up and back. Bring your shoulders forward, shoulders over your wrists. Keep a lot of length through the right leg. Bring your knee to your nose, round your back as much as you can. Step the right foot in between your hands. Set your right heel to the side, and then keep your right hand down to the floor. Reach your left hand up to the ceiling for side angle pose. You can place the elbow on top of the thigh, so you can open the chest a little further. Maybe reach the hand out. Flip your palm towards the front of the room, hand towards biceps to the ear. And you can keep finding the rotation of the torso, peeling the chest up. And then a lot of energy going from the left heel all the way to the left fingertips. Reaching with the arm, triceps engaging. Reach your left hand up to the ceiling. Come up into warrior two. Again, weight on the heels, right heel pushing down, left heel firming back. The navel hugging in and up. Soften the gaze over the right hand, bend your right knee a little deeper. And try to have your shoulders right above the hips. Normally we hinge forward here, bring your shoulders back. Let's stay here five more breaths. Release the toes, keep pressing down with both of your heels. And reaching the hands evenly, soften the shoulders. Bend your right knee a little deeper, reverse warrior. Place the left hand to the thigh, right hand up to the ceiling. Sending the breath to the right side of the waist. Right leg straight, go a little deeper into the side bend. And then come up, reach your hands to the sides, 
Shoulders away from the ears, hinge forward. Move into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Maybe the hands go on top of the thigh, maybe fingertips to the floor. Move the weight towards the base of the right big toe. Firm the hips forward as you lean your chest slightly back. Shoulders away from the ears. And you're reaching forward with the top of the chest. So you're now rounding the back, you're lengthening the upper back. Five more slow breaths. Maybe you can keep looking down to the floor, maybe look up to your left thumb. If it is okay for your neck. And then place the left hand down to the floor. Lift your left heel up into pyramid pose. Lengthen the upper back, reaching the chest forward. And around, fold over the right leg. Five slow breaths. Keep firming the right big toe down to the floor. Release the right hip further back so you feel the stretch of the outer glute and the IT band on the right leg. Again, the left heel is still firm, reaching back. Bend your right knee, plant your hands down to the floor. Step back into plank. Move forward, knees up or down, your choice. Chakaranga Dandasana, halfway down. Tops and feet on the floor. Inhale, upper facing up. And as you exhale, downward facing up. Stay there for three slow breaths. Pushing the floor away from you. And then inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Bring your shoulders forward. Plank, still reaching the left foot. Bend your knee, bring your knee into your chest, squeeze it in, round. Step the left foot in between your hands, lengthen. Place the right heel to the side so the right foot's flat. Maybe bring the left elbow on top of the thigh. Reach the right hand up. Maybe the hand reaches down to the floor. Flip your biceps and your right palm forward. Bring your arm over the head. Extend the side angle pose. Again, still firm the outside of your right heel. Peeling the chest up to the side. Keep trying to release the toes. A few more breaths. Energize the right arm. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Move up into warrior two. Again, the knee still above the ankle. Firm the right leg, pushing your thigh towards the hamstring. Soften the gaze over the left hand. Reaching. Evenly with both arms, spread the collarbones by firming the shoulder blades into your back ribs. Keep the band on the left knee, five more breaths. Keep reaching with the right arm just as much as you're reaching with the left. Bend your left knee a little deeper, reverse warrior. Keeping a lot of length on the left side of your waist, left leg straight, maybe go a little deeper. Come back up, reach your arms, and then hinge from the left hip crease, move forward. Place your left hand on top of your leg, maybe the hand goes down to the floor, triangle pose. Peel the chest up, again more weight on the inside of the left foot. If you have more weight on the outer edge of the left foot, try to move inside. And then firm your hips forward, peel the chest up. You can keep a straight line from your left arm. All the way up, still hugging the navel lean that supports your spine, so you're not arching. A couple more breaths. And then slowly, right hand down to the floor, raise your right heel up, pyramid pose, lengthen the upper back, push with the left big toe, firm the left hip back. And then round your back, fold over your leg. Maybe reach your hands forward. And then slowly bend your left knee. Plant your hands down to the floor. Step back into plank. Halfway down. Knees up or down, your choice. Tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale, upper face and up. And as you exhale, down and face and up. And lengthen the breath again, reaching your heels down to the floor. Take your chin into your chest. Sink a little deeper into the armpits, reaching the chest towards the front of your thighs. 
Inhale, look in between your hands, raise your heels, bend your knees. You can either step or jump forward. With an inhale, lengthen halfway up. And then you'll tell your feet about as wide as your mat. Point your toes to the sides. You squat down into Malasana. Hands, hands to heart center. And you can have your elbows inside your knees. Open your knees wide. Lift your chest up to the ceiling. Maybe sway side to side a few times. Feel a bit more flexion on your soles and your quads. And then place your right hand in front of your right foot. Open to the left. You can stay right here. Maybe wrap the arm around the shin. Clasp your hands behind your back. And keep opening the right the left shoulder. Keep the weight moving towards the heels. Reaching the top of the chest up. And then release, come back to the center. Hands together, raise the top of the chest up, lengthen the upper back. Now left hand on top of the front of the left foot, open up to the right. You can stay right here, or maybe wrap the arm around the shin, bind the hands behind the back, keep opening the right shoulder wide, reaching the top of the chest up. Maybe sway side to side, keeping the weight on the heels. Slowly release, hands to heart center one more time. And then you can stay here for another five breaths. Maybe plant your hands down to the floor. Try to bring your knees as high, close to your shoulders as you can. Spread your fingers wide, have your hands about as wide as your shoulders, not really narrow. It's better to have the hands a little wider so you have more stability. And then bend your elbows, start hinging forward. And try to pick your feet off the floor. Maybe pick one foot off the floor. Keep moving forward and maybe bring both feet off the floor. Maybe point your toes. Try to bring your heels as close to your glutes as you can. And try to hold for five breaths. And then from here, once you have enough, you can either step or jump back. Move through your chair, something else. Downward facing up. Once you get to down dog, set your knees down to the floor. Touch your toes, take five slow breaths in child's pose. Then you can reach your hands back, close to your feet. Relax your shoulders. Maybe you massage your forehead side to side a few times. Again, allowing the breath to become slow and even once again. Reach your hands back to the top of the mat, press the palms down to the floor, tuck your toes, move back into down, face it up. Okay, three slow breaths in your dog, let me move around. You guys can stay where you are. Inhale, raise the right leg, up and back, and then as slow as you can, bring your knee to your nose, round your back, set your right foot in between your hands, left heel to the side, come up into warrior two for a breath. And then slowly exhale, right hand this time inside the right foot, on, the, on top of the knee, or on the floor. Reach the left arm up. From here, wrap the left arm behind your back for half bind. Maybe take into full bind. Keep peeling the chest up to the ceiling. Stack the shoulders. The left heel is still really firm, squeezing your left quads. Reaching the chest, lengthening the upper back, and then release the bind. Walk your left foot slide forward, place the left hand on the hip, and then reach the right hand outside the right pinky toe, moving to half moon pose. You can keep the left hand on the hip here, maybe reach the left hand up. And if you want to challenge a balance, you can hover your right hand off the floor and keep stacking the shoulders. Keep firm the right quads, so you have more stability on the leg. Reaching back with your left heel. And then as slow as you can, bend your standing leg. Come back into triangle pose, trikonasana. Open up for a breath. And then exhale, left hand down. Reach the right heel off the floor. Pyramid pose. Round for a breath. Bend your knee. Run as lunch. 
And then heel toe your right foot outside your right hand into a leisure lunge. Plant your palms again about as wide as your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. From here, you pick your right foot off the floor. That's the first option. Hold here. Maybe we'll extend your right leg, maybe bend your elbow. And keep moving the chest forward, so maybe pick your left foot off the floor. Hold for a few breaths. And then step or jump back. Move through your vinyasa. To downward facing down. Again, land for the breath. Reach the heels down to the floor. Three low reps. And inhale, reach the left leg up and back. As slow as you can, lean to your nose. Reach the chest away from the floor. Step your left foot in between your hands. Set your right heel to the side. One breath, warrior two. Exhale, elbow to the top of the thigh. Right hand up. Maybe reach your left hand down to the floor. And then wrap your right arm behind your back. Keep peeling the Stacking the shoulders, peel the chest up to the ceiling. And maybe take into full body again. And the right leg really active, firm your right quads. Try to release the toes, keep the weight on the heels. A few more reps. Keep reaching the top of the chest forward. And then release the bind. Set the right hand on the hip. Walk your right foot slightly forward first. And then reach your left hand outside your left pinky toe. Half knee pose. Again, reach off your right heel as much as you can, reaching the chest forward. Maybe keep your hand on the hip, maybe reach the right hand up. And if you want to challenge your balance, hover your left fingertips away from the floor, keeping your gaze on the breath stack. Stack the shoulders. Three more slow breaths. And then as slow as you can, Move back into triangle pulls, bend your standing leg, feel the chest up for one breath. Set your right hand down to the floor, reach your right heel up, one breath, lengthen, and round fold. Bend your left knee, heel toe your left foot outside the left hand. Plant your palms down to the floor, spread your fingers really wide again into this laser lunge. And then from here, pick your left foot off the floor. Stay right here. Maybe bend your elbows. Keep moving the chest forward. And maybe your right foot comes off the floor. Hold for a few breaths. And then you can step or jump back. Move into upper facing dog. And as you exhale, down facing dog. And length and reach the heels down to the floor. Slowly walk your hands back towards the feet. Bend your knees as much as you need. You can hook your big toe with your first and second finger. Keep your knees bent if you need, maybe straighten the leg. Inhale, lengthen the top of the chest forward. And as you exhale, bend your elbows forward. forward. Draw the elbows to the sides. Try to notice if you have more weight on the heels, try to get a little lighter, moving the hips forward. Still hold the big toe, come halfway up, lengthen. And then it's time to bend your knees as much as you need again. You will slide the palms of your hands underneath your feet. Try to touch your toes all the way to the wrists. Keep your knees bent. Maybe you straighten the legs. Release the crown of the head down to the floor. Moving our wrists in different directions now. We've done a lot of planks. Some are balances. Get into the back of the wrists. Slow deep breaths. Release your hands from underneath your feet, come halfway up, lengthen your spine, and then slowly place your hands down to the floor. Walk your hands again to the top of the mat, downward and stop. And then we'll make your way into our knees, we'll bend your knees, 
stepper jump, sit on your ankles. You can move slightly back on the mat, sit on your heels for a moment, raise the top of the chest up. We'll do a tripod headstand. So if you have any neck injuries, you can just skip for now. And then you place your hands next to your knees. Again, still spreading your fingers really wide. And try to visualize a triangle from the tip of your index finger. You place the very top of your head right on that point in front of you. So move forward, set your head down to the floor. From here, both legs are straight. Maybe all you're going to do today is stay right here. Maybe bring the right knee on top of the right elbow, left knee on top of the left elbow. You can stay right here. Maybe start bringing your legs up to the ceiling. If you practice headstand, squeeze your legs together, pointing your toes up. And then keep pushing the floor down with your hands, pointing up with your toes. And then you slowly you can bring your legs down. And from wherever you are, move back into Chataranga. <coughs> Inhale, upper facing dog. You can move back to your mat if you need to. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Then you can set your knees down to the floor, touch your toes. Another five breaths in child's pose. Reach your hands back, massage your forehead down to the floor. Allow the breath to get slowly and even one more time. And reach the hands to the top of the mat. Spread your fingers again, push the palms down to the floor. Take your toes under, come back into down the facing dog. If I inhale, raise the right leg up and back. Bring your knee to your nose, lift your chest away from the floor, create that space so you can set your right foot in between your hand. Lengthen, inhale your crescent pose. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath first. And then as you exhale, bring your left elbow outside your right quads, press the palms together and twist. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe reach your left hand down to the floor. Right hand up. And if you want to take a little further, you can take the full bind. Keep stacking the shoulders, reaching the top of the chest forward. And again, a lot of length through the left leg. Three more slow breaths. You slow the release, come back into crescent pose. Now bring your hands to heart center. Start hinging forward, lengthen the left leg as much as you can, moving to warrior three. Try to get the torso and the leg parallel with the floor, maybe reach your hands back, maybe reach your hands forward. You can interlace the finger, maybe bring the gaze forward for a few breaths. It's okay if you lose the balance for a moment, that was fine. And then set your left hand down to the floor, right hand up, twist and half moon pulse. Three slow breaths. Keep lengthening the left leg. And then you slow your left foot next to your right. Bend your knees, sink your hips low, chair pose. Lengthen, reach the top of the chest up. Hands to heart center, inhale first. And with an exhale, twist to your right. You can stay right here for five slow breaths. Maybe you squat down to the floor. Set your hands again as wide as the shoulders and come into side curl pose. Move the chest forward. Keep squeezing the thighs together. Maybe pick your feet up floor. And then slowly come down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach to the sides and up. Maybe look up to your hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reach to the sides and up. Exhale, fold forward, forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. And then plant your hands, step or jump back. You can skip vinyasa if you want. Go straight to down dog. Or you can go through up dog, down dog. Three little breaths in downward facing dog. Again, 
reaching the heels down to the floor. Inhale, raise the left leg up and back. And stay as low as you can. You can see the nose round the back. As lightly as you can. Left foot in between your hands. Inhale, reach. Bring your hands to heart center. Land the first inhale. And as you exhale, twist. Maybe just push the palms together. Maybe open the arms wide. And if you want, you can take the full bind again. Keep stacking the shoulders. Reach the top of the chest towards the front of the room. Five slow breaths. Keep lengthening the right leg, reaching the right heel back. And then slowly come back into crescent pose. Hands to heart center. Reach forward. Slowly moving to warrior three again. Lengthen the right leg as much as you can. You can keep your hands together. Maybe reach your hands back. Maybe the hands reach forward. Maybe interlace the fingers. If you want to challenge the balance, look forward. And then we use the right hand down to the floor. Left hand up to the ceiling. See what can happen in both. Two more breaths. Keep lengthening the right leg. Then slowly right foot next to your left. Toes together, bend your knees. Sink your hips low. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, hands heart center. Twist your left. Holding twist the chair for five breaths. Maybe you squat all the way down. Plant your hands down to the floor and move into side crew. Try to bring your left elbow as high as you can on your thigh. Bend your elbows and move forward. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together. And then slowly step down. Toes together, there's no gap in between the heels. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand up. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. And size it up. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. And with an exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back. Move through your choice of yes. Downward facing up. Reaching the heels down to the floor. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Bring your right foot wide outside your right hand. Set your left knee down to the floor. Reach the chest forward, lengthen. And then reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Reach your hand back. And maybe pick the inside of the, right, the left foot. Try to get a little deeper into your hips. You can roll to the right side of your right foot. And if you feel you have more space, Set your forearm down to the floor and start pulling your heel towards the roots. And then see slow deep breaths. In and out through your nose. Try to release a little deeper after each exhale. Getting deeper on the front side of the left leg. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders again. Lengthen, raise the left knee off the floor. Step back into plank and then downward facing up. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Step your left foot wide around the left hand. Set your right knee down to the floor. Untuck your toes. Land on both sides of the waist evenly first. And then reach your left hand up. Reach your left hand back, hold it inside with your right foot, Re reach the chest up, stack your shoulders. Maybe bring the right forearm down to the floor, roll to the outside of your left foot. And maybe sway side to side as well, pulling the right heel towards your glutes, reaching the chest forward. Five 
Five slow breaths. Now slowly you can release your foot. Plant your hands again underneath the shoulders. Right toe step to under, lift your knee. Step back into plank, hold plank. Move forward slowly and slowly roll all the way down to the floor. Point your toes back, kneecaps come off the floor, lift your hands back. From here, two out. Uh, you will either just bring your hands back, you can either release the chest off the floor, lift your arms, and lift your legs. If you can hold on to your ankle, bend your knees, drag your ankle, try to keep your knees about as wide as a hip, soften your shoulders, Try to keep your feet back and hold. Lift the chest off the floor. Drop your shoulders. Maybe lift the thighs off the floor. So turn your eyes. Now go forward. Five more breaths. Keep your shoulders soft. Relax. Turn your legs a little higher. And then slowly come down. Bring your hands around to the waist. Take the hands. Arms are coming to the waist. Take your toe, squeeze your quad, squeeze your abs, push up and front. And then exhale, down and push back. Keep your hands up, keep your hands down. You can lift your hands, raise your knees. Try to move the toe with steps from front to heel. Drop the toe. From here, set up for big fold, so the toes are pointing straight forward, knees back. And the heels are about as wide as a hip, maybe a little bit wider than the foot, hands back to the body. Now, if you feel the foot slow, so try to squeeze it. And then push your hips out to the floor, raise your hips up, maybe clasp the hands, reaching towards the heels. Maybe hold the outside of the mat, pull the mat apart, so you're looking back for your feet. You push the heels down, raising your hips. Firm your feet, knees about as wide as the hips. And then slowly release your hands, roll your spine down to the floor. Take three slow breaths. And then we'll repeat that one more time, bridge pose. If you want to take two wheel pose, you can bring your hands next to your ears. And then bring your feet about as wide as the hips again. You can place the forehead, the top of your head down to the floor again if you need to readjust your hands. And then try to straighten the arms into wheel pose and hold for five breaths. And then once you have enough, you can slowly roll back down, roll your spine back down, step your feet about as wide as the mat, and just winch your wiper knee side to side a few times. Try to move with your breath. Exhale, release your knees to the side, inhale up. Exhale, knees down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Keep moving a few more times that way. And then bring your knees up, hug your knees into your chest. Rock back and forth a few times. Get some momentum, come up to seated. Reach your legs straight forward. From here, squeeze your quads down to the floor, point your toes back. Place your hands next to your hips, lengthen the spine. Bend your right knee. And you can move your right heel closer to your hips. If you notice your lower back ground in here, move your foot slightly forward. And then take your legs to the Reach your legs and drop to the ceiling. Slowly, 
bring the right foot inside the left inner thigh. The left leg is to really active. Inhale, raise your hands up. And as you exhale, fold forward in and out. You can have your hands on the floor. Maybe hold on to your ankle. Maybe bend your knee if you want to hold on to your foot. Or maybe you can have the legs straight. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, fold. And keep to the breath slow and even. Running the left thigh still down to the floor. And then inhale, lengthen, reaching the chest forward. Reach your hands out to the ceiling. Set your hands next to your hips. But legs are straight. Again, done that one more time. Lengthen. And then bend your left knee. Find the right distance between your hips to your knees. See what works more natural to you. Some of you can bring the heel all the way close. Some of you have the heel closer to the knee. And then set the right hand behind the hip. Engage your right leg. Point your right toes back. Inhale, left hand up. And then set your elbow inside the knee. Open twist. Maybe stay right here. Otherwise, wrap the arm around the left shin. Clasp your hands behind the back. And then keep opening the chest, reaching the top of the chest forward. Maybe bring the gaze over the right shoulder. And then squeezing the right quads down to the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Bring the left foot outside the right knee. Left hand behind the hip. Inhale, right hand up. Lengthen. And then either way, hug your knee with your right arm. Or maybe bring the elbow outside the thigh. If it is okay for the neck, look over your left shoulder. Keep lengthening the torso by reaching the top of the chest up. As if you're trying to reach the chest away from the belly. Lengthen the upper back. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Now the left foot comes on the inner right thigh. Set up for Johnny Shishasana. Find your sitting bones on the floor. Squeeze the right quads down, inhale, reach up. And then any amount again, maybe just hands on the floor. Maybe bend your knee to hold on to your foot. Maybe straighten the leg, see what works best for you today. Then lengthen, reach forward, and then fold. Keeping the right leg really engaging. Squeezing the right quads, flexing the right toes back. Inhale, lengthen again. And then reach up one more time. Set your hands next to your hips, both legs are straight. Legs are still active. Point your toes back. Reach your chest up. Inhale, both hands up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, forward into Pashimottanasana. Some options here hold on to your ankles. Maybe hold on to your toes. Lengthen the upper back. Maybe hold the outsides of your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. And go grabs. Keep squeezing the quads, pointing the toes back. And reaching forward, come up, reach your hands forward, and then slowly roll down to your back. Then move forward again if you need more space on the mat. Squeeze your abs, roll your spine down to the floor. From here, bend your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring the forehead to your knees, round, rock side to side. Release your left leg, keep your right knee in. And then with your right hand, hold the outside of your right foot into a half head baby. Pull your feet down so your right quads come closer to the right side of the waist. Soften of the shoulders down to the floor. From now on, if you're still controlling the breath, let go of it so the flow of the breath is back to normal. And then you can either take a reclined pigeon, cross your right ankle on top of your left knee, reach your hand through, hold on behind your thigh, or you can hold in front of your shin. 
Start with the shoulders down to the floor. If you want to take a little further, hold it outside of the right foot and bring your right foot inside the crease of the left elbow. Interlace your fingers, create a cradle with your arm and lift your left foot forward. Reach your left foot forward. Try to keep your left leg soft. No need to reach. Like a reclined pigeon, soften the shoulders down. You can even close your eyes for now, try to relax further into the pose. Still not forcing the breath anymore. Flow of the breath is normal. Slowly release. If you have your legs crossed in reclined pigeon, reach your left leg forward, knee to your chest, inhale, flex a little further, squeeze your thigh to your chest, and then bring your right knee across all the way to the left. Open the right arm to the side. You can move your hips slightly to the right so your hips are stacked. Soften your shoulders down to the floor for a supine twist. And here, maybe bend your left knee. Hold on to your left foot with the right hand. Maybe hold the outside of the right foot with your left hand and twist. Five more slow breaths. Slow release. Come back to center. Bring your knees into your chest one more time. Forehead to your knees. Release the right leg. Keep the right knee in. Hold the outside of your left foot with the left hand. Half you have half head baby. Pull your foot down. Bring your left thigh closer to your left rib cage. Soften your shoulders. Pull your foot a little more, and then maybe you bring it to a reclined pigeon. Keep your left foot flexed, reach through the gap inside your left leg, hold behind your right, right thigh, maybe hold in front of your right shin, soften the shoulders down. You can stay right here, or maybe you bring the left foot inside the crease of your right elbow, interlace your fingers together. Reach the right leg forward and release the shoulders down to the floor. Keep your right leg soft. And just allow the breath to flow naturally. Keep softening the shoulders. Three more slow breaths. Slowly let go. Place your right hand outside the left knee. And then you can move your hips slightly to the left. So when you twist, your hips are stacked. Soften your left shoulder down to the floor. Supine twist. And your knee doesn't have to touch the floor. Just try to keep your shoulders touching the floor here. Your knee can be all the way here. It's okay. Maybe bend your right knee. Hold on to your foot with your left hand. And maybe hold it outside of your left leg and twist. So both shoulders down to the floor. Five slow breaths. And then slowly release. Come back through center. You can hang your knees one more time, maybe take into happy baby, draw the feet down, draw your tailbone down to the floor so you're not rounding your lower back, rock side to side. And without any rush, at your own pace, you can let go of the feet, 
Extend your legs forward, legs a little wider than the mat maybe if you have a lot of space at home. Allow the feet will open to the sides, open the arms wide. Walk your shoulder blades closer together, soften your shoulders down. Chest broad, move your chin slightly towards your chest, lengthening the back side of your neck. And that's the final pose, Shavasana. Just close your eyes. You can stay here for as long as you want. See if you can relax the muscles around the face, soften the shoulders down. Check if you're holding any tension. All this stuff around the hips, the legs, the feet, let go of everything. Just stay here for the next few minutes. You can stay laying down on your back for as long as you'd like to as you're at home, okay? Thanks for joining us today. You can take an extra long Shavasana. Thank you all. Namaste.